I do these consultations, and I've done a 53-year-old woman who I've asked her, like, how does she rate herself, right? And she said, oh, I'm like a seven. And I was like, well, send me a picture. And she was more like a, a one and a two sevenths. <laughs> and also she was like, also, and I'm like 40, 50 pounds overweight. And so my advice to her was, look, I get that you're older. You're 53 years old. You're out of the... Out of pretty much out of the game, but if you're trying to sell a product that you don't even believe is viable, why would I buy it? Like if you sell a car, you have it detailed, you make sure you armor all the tires, you you know what I'm saying? You do everything to make that product look at, as good as it is, even if it's a 2003 Corolla with 200,000 miles, or you might even put thicker oil in it so it don't knock. But my my point is, what? What do you expect men to do? You're you're trying to sell me a product that you don't even think is worthy of of being sold. Like you you just gonna have how you got you know you got Dorito bags in the back seat of your Corolla. You you know what I'm saying? You 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 didn't. It's dirty. It's it's you got it smells like White Castle. You know what I'm saying? It just yeah. just common sense to know that you should be the best version of yourself. And if you're not selling yourself as the best version of yourself, you're always going to be insecure. And then when somebody calls you about your, uh, out on your flaws, then all of a sudden it's somebody else's fault.